Well, the Secretary of State's office did not participate in today's hearing, but they did hold a news conference this afternoon where they addressed these claims. Our John Sherrick joins us live. He was at that hearing or that press conference today, rather. And John, the Secretary of State also talked about a number of other open investigations. What did you learn? The Secretary of State is investigating 132 cases, complaints of various types of irregularities in counties across the state from the general election. And Gabriel Sterling with the Secretary of State's office said Rudy Giuliani is being irresponsible, spreading disinformation about the elections, spreading information that Sterling said has already proven to be false. Sterling again invited critics to submit evidence of absentee ballot fraud. No one has provided a shred, a scintilla of evidence that signatures weren't matched. No one. They made the allegation repeatedly, but there's zero evidence that that's the case. No one has made anything to say the voting system is in some way not working properly. Let's keep that in mind. There's been zero evidence to that effect. None. And Sterling also said he is not a communist and that he is not receiving money from China. The governor is not receiving money from China. The secretary of state is not receiving money from China to somehow manipulate the election results. Sterling said he is just amazed that he has to even say it. He can't even believe that he heard himself say it out loud. But that's the situation that he's facing as he talked with reporters this afternoon. Back to you. Yeah, it's so stunning, John, and it's just uh, layer after layer. I uh, appreciate the update there. Thank you. Immediately following the Secretary of State's briefing, Georgia Speaker of the House David Ralston held his own news conference at the Capitol. In it, he criticized the Secretary of State's handling of the November election. He called for a change in how the state's election official is chosen. It's time in Georgia that we look at an alternative way of electing our Secretary of State. Frankly, I like the option of having the General Assembly elect uh, that individual uh, for a set term. So this move that he is talking about would take the choice of Secretary of State out of the hands of voters. It would give state legislators the power to select who they want in that position. The deputy secretary offered this response. In a clear power grab, Ralston and the Trump campaign want to give the General Assembly the power to select winners of elections and violate the will of the people.